So, um, I wanted to do a quick video on some new things that I have been trying for my pain and also to help Ollie with, he's not really hyper, but just, I guess, his distractibility. And also, um, we're going to be going on a flight to Chicago um, to see my neurologist because I have a complex neurological condition. And so they're the only people who can treat it well enough. So that's why we have to go all the way to Chicago. He's never been on a plane before, and since he'll be going with me um, in the regular passenger's place, um, are you looking at the camera, buddy? Uh, my uh, trainer suggested CBD oil for him. Yes. So um, that's what I've been trying is CBD and also Kratom. Um, and I did a little video montage, I don't know what you call it, of my first time trying Kratom, and um, I probably mispronounced it uh, several times, so I apologize. Um, the first thing uh, I tried with the CBD was vaping CBD, and this is pure CBD with um, a form of mint essential oil or extract. Um, hang on one second, my phone is vibrating. Sorry about that. That was my healthcare advocate calling to update her on my physical therapy and what I'm doing next. She kind of is kind of my go-between between, between all my doctors and she's really sweet and really nice. Um, so anyway, sorry about that. They had a weird transition. Um, but anyway, so with our CBD, um, what I'm doing for myself is I'm doing, it's called, so the CBD vape oil and I do it in mint. Um, mine is a thousand milligrams. Um, it's under the name Super Chill. Um, I'm not sure what the um, company or if there is a company with this. I mean, obviously there is a company, but it doesn't really say or a brand necessarily. But I will. Um, try to uh, fit in a picture um, here. So basically what um, you do is you can do it in any vape pen. This is the one that was recommended to me again. This is a this does have a brand that I'm going to link in the description below. Um, and it is pretty easy to fill. Um, though I will say the filling it wise lasts about, for me, about a day and a half. So it's kind of annoying to keep refilling it. But basically what you do is turn it upside down unscrew that part this is the charging part then unscrew this part like so you'll probably want a paper towel or something but then this is where you would fill your little dropper of the um, CBD vape oil. Make sure that it's CBD vape oil specifically because you don't want to be putting, I don't think you can put like regular CBD oil in there. I don't know 100% sure, so don't quote me on that. But anyway, so then it screws on like so. And then 
basically you push it five times fast and then it blinks that lets you know it's ready and then you hold it here it crackles then you inhale and exhale so um, I really like the mint flavor with this one especially if I'm nauseous that's really nice to kind of have that mint taste in the back of your throat um, and on your tongue I like so benefits wise I would say with the vaping it doesn't really last very long but I will say noted effects over vaping I think over three days or so I saw effects positive effects with like stress and anxiety with my nausea big time actually with my nausea which was, I was really happy about um and um my mind is blinking um also in my pain um but not so much in my pain it was more with my migraines because it was really nice like combination of the vape one second <laughs> we got him this new bowl well not so new anymore this little teddy bear toy and he's in love with it and I want to make sure he wasn't ingesting it anyway enjoy so um, but yeah I found it helpful with my migraines in combination with deep blue essential oil cream I'll also link that in the description that those two in combination I found very helpful with my migraines because I only had to do those two um, and if my migraine wasn't like insane like really really bad if it was like I would say about I would say seven or below pain wise it would knock it out which is really nice because you don't have to use um, any drugs or anything like that but so yeah pelvic pain wise I don't know it's nice for relaxing muscle wise for my fibromyalgia but pelvic pain wise I think it's just such a deep pain muscle with my endo and my adenomyosis and everything like that I think it helps some like relaxing overall but not to the point where I can see a strong enough impact if that makes sense so would I recommend this I would recommend this if you have for vaping specifically because I have not tried tinctures yet so but specifically CBD vaping I would recommend it for migraines anxiety and stress um, and overall muscle stiffness not maybe deep muscle pain um, if that makes sense so anyway what where are you going Ollie sit good boy so um that was the CBD vape now what I've been doing for this handsome bully is the Caswell hemp company um full spectrum CBD oil and it's a tincture I'm sorry he's being a complete goofball Jess are you being a goof are you being a goofball he's being a ham he knows he's on camera and he's being a ham um so this is 150 milligrams and um I did a quick video that I'm gonna insert where I put it on his food for the first time because that's what it said to do is like do half a dropper full for on his food for the first time and whoop, did you almost fall off the bed? Come here. Come here. Come here. There you go. Um so this is Ollie's food. I feed him Purina rice and chicken. And so the CBD bottle says to shake well before using. So that's what we're gonna do. Okay, we're gonna shake it. All right. And then I'm gonna do, said do half a dropper full. 
I'm going to do a little less just to be on the safe side. So that looks like about a dropper full. I'm just going to kind of sprinkle it over his food. Yeah, this does not smell like bacon really at all. It smells really heavily of hemp. But it's only 150 milligrams, so I figure that's a safe place to start. All right, Ollie. You ready for dinner? Yeah? Are you excited? All right, we'll see how he likes it. What you think, bud? You gonna be camera shy? What you think? The sniff test. And we have liftoff, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry, we were out of focus that whole time. I apologize. But, I think that's a yes. Is that a yes, bud? Are you just spitting out the food that, you, that has CBD oil on it that you don't like? Yes, hello everyone. Welcome to Chronically Me to Ollie's ASMR dog food eating. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, he seems to be enjoying that, so I will let him be. So I would say the verdict on taste is a yes. He likes it a lot. What do you think, bud? Was it good? Did you like it? Was he? Oh, yeah. Oh, lick in the lips. We loved it. Taste? Definitely 10 out of 10. <laughs> so, and he seemed to love it. I actually did try to taste it. It's supposed to be bacon flavored. It's gross. It tastes like hemp and fish oil. <laughs> but he loved it. So, as long as he loves it, that's great. It's 150 milligrams, which is one of the, I think it's, if not the lowest, one of the lower milligrams that uh, you can do for CBD uh, tinctures. But what I'm hoping to do is give it to him periodically in his food just to get his body used to it. And then for our flight, since I'm going to be fasting him for our flight, and I'll go into do another video about specifics in preparing for our flight for him and myself. Um, but for our flight specifically, I'm making some CBD oil treats. And you can comment below of whether you'd like to see me make a video making the CBD oil treats, and I can. Um, or I can just add the recipe below when I do the flight video. He was like passed out cold, like sleeping a couple minutes ago, and now you're all over the place. <laughs> anyway, so that's what I've been doing for him, and that's been our CBD oil experience. Um, but that is kind of what I'm doing for him. Now, what I saw from his CBD tincture um, was after I gave it to him for his food. He slept for like a solid 30 minutes. He wasn't like passed out sleeping, but um, he was like very relaxed. Cause usually, and I think it was like seven o'clock cause I feed him at 5.30 until like seven o'clock he was sleeping. And usually about seven o'clock he's not sleeping. Um, he's usually, that's usually the time he wants to play and be all goofy. So I thought that was interesting. It may have just been the day that we had that I made just like, cause we had been running a bunch of errands, going back and forth, so we may have just been tired. I don't know. So um, we'll kind of see over time, but he didn't have any adverse reactions to it. He didn't throw up. He didn't have any diarrhea or anything like that that I was cautious of. I did half a dropper full, which is what I recommended. Um, I know they said, like, for big dogs you should do more, but I wanted to start out slow because I figured, you know, you can always add. You can't really take away from it. 
But the nice thing about CBD is you can't overdose on it. Or there's been no reported overdoses on CBD, which is really nice. So, um, I think that's kind of my overall thoughts on my CBD experience for both of us. I think I'm going to look into doing the tinctures. The only, the only issue I have with tinctures for myself is they're so expensive. And you have to build up a tolerance over time. And you have to use so much of it to finally get an effect like over time, you know. That I'm like, is it worth it? I don't know. I, I'm torn. Um, so I'm, I'm going to look into it and probably save up some money. And then try it later. After doing some more research, I've also done some research in CBD creams and suppositories. I think I'll probably definitely try the suppositories because suppositories have been helpful for me. But the one place that sells suppositories I've looked into that are decently priced, and I know the um, one of the sellers, um, she's with Endo Warriors on Facebook group with, I think it's like a non- CBD something non mother nature I think something like that again link in, I'll try to put a link in the description about that but they have the best priced CBD for suppositories that I found and I trust you know like a 30 day refund which is nice so um I'm gonna they're out of stock right now which is why I couldn't test it before the video and I figured you know what I think I have a pretty good idea of how it's been affecting me with what I've tried so far, so I'll do the video. But if I'm able to get some, I will definitely do an update video on our CBD journey and keep you all informed. Yes. I'm being such a goofball. Anyway, I hope this was helpful for you guys and um, for any of you all researching CBD. Bless you. Um, for any of you guys researching CBD, I would definitely recommend CBD vape for fibromyalgia, migraines, stress, anxiety. For dogs, I would recommend it for stress and anxiety or hyperactivity. Um, but anyway, I hope you all have a great rest of your day, and you guys stay chronically strong. Love you guys. Bye.